Hello everybody, welcome back to another x 12 live stream. I hope you guys are all doing well. Happy Monday, my friends. We have made it through another weekend. Hope everybody was able to get some beautiful flight sim time in, whether it be on FSX, P3D, x Microsoft. Good to see everybody. Greg, welcome back. Mitchell, good to see you. Aviation 2023, good to see you. Evan Blakeman, good to see you. Aired, welcome. Quick Match, good to see you. Greg Feaster, welcome. Alman, good to see you. Captain Dom, welcome. Matthew James, good to see you. John Brown, welcome. Captain Aviation, good to see you. Tony Baldos here, good to see you, my friend. Yuck Fu, welcome back. Stanley, good to see you. Sam Jono, good to see you. Gary P, welcome. Greg, good to see you, dude. Uh, Leonard, good to see you. Flying FS, welcome. Max Medcraft, good to see you. 49 Whiskey, hello, my friend. John Xander Lozano, how are you, my friend? Good to see you again. Tenure to Mobile, welcome back. Zach Hamilton, good to see you, my friend. Your home airport of SDF, World Port. Beautiful scenery here in X-Plane 12, actually, as well. It's done by Zero uh, Dollar Payware, one of the best freeware developers there is in the X-Plane market. Actually, probably that there is all around, to be honest with you. Kelmo, welcome, what's up, man? Welcome back. Zach Aviation, good to see you. TSC777. We've got Soren celebrating 19 months. Huge no floaties to you, Soren. Thank you very much for the continued support of the channel. I appreciate you, man. Welcome back. Hope all is well. Greetings from Louisville. Good to see you, man. Alman, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Andy is here. Good to see you, man. Happy Monday to you as well, sir. Welcome back. Hope you are having a great Monday. Great start to the week. Um, Kind of the ending of the week for me as I stream Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So this is wraps up our week of streaming. Um, next week, we'll be back in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Haven't decided. I think we're going to be in the Phoenix next week. I haven't decided, though. We may be in the PMDG. I guess at this point, it depends whoever releases. Either we get the EFB from PMDG, which means we'll probably fly it for a good couple of weeks, or we'll get the IEE variant of the uh, Phoenix. So there's two big kind of releases uh, which could happen, I guess, any day now, technically any day. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what we're going to plan for next week. Um, do I have the IXCG? I don't. I mean, I do have the original IXCG. I'm, I'm honestly, man, I don't use X plane enough to, to purchase paid upgrades for, for airplanes. Um, if I really want to go fly a 737, I'll just go do that in Microsoft in my PMDG. You know what I mean? I don't really, uh, um, I don't think I don't think it's worth it for me to shell out fifteen dollars, twenty dollars, whatever the price tag may be. No, hey Cap, would you be back in X plane two for some European seven five ops like Icelandair or Condor? Uh, maybe Dutch Cap, maybe. Uh, no quite plans on that yet, but we can look at doing that next time we're in X plane. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Urged Panda, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Welcome aboard. Hope all is well. Dutch Cap, good to see you. I just read your comment. AJ, what's up, my man? Good to see you, Leonard. Good to see you, Cornelius. Good to see you as well. Uh, sweet. So friends, welcome back. Hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's been enjoying this week in X plane. It's been 
been very different. It has been uh, almost exactly a year since we've been back in x plane So it feels good to be back. I've had a good week so far. Um, no crashes, knock on wood, no real issues thus far, um, considering I did import a lot of my ortho, a lot of my scenery, a lot of my libraries over from x plane 11. I'm thankful that we haven't had any issues, no major um we kind of tried to install a sound pack in this aircraft and that really screwed up the performance and the sassel and all kinds of things. So uh, we're just running default sounds on this bad boy. I'd also like to point out, chat, we were supposed to be doing a round trip today. Unfortunately, something has come up. Uh, I'm only going to be able to do the first leg today. So I do apologize. It's going to be a little bit of a shorter stream than normal. It's still about an hour and a half flight down to Jacksonville. But uh, the ride on mower, I have a friend that works at a tire shop and he was finally able to get, I ordered new tires for my ride-on tractor eons ago. Anyways, he, he has everything, everything's getting installed, so I have to be at his shop to go and grab everything. Um, so unfortunately, we have to cut the stream slightly short because I cannot make it to him before the stream would be ending before they close. Um, so we're just doing the one leg today instead of the round trip. I figured one leg was better than canceling the stream entirely um so it should be a good leg we are going from louisville down to jacksonville i'd like to shout out um i had everything ready here uh, i'd like to shout out uh who was it it was uh who are the guys that sent me this it was f design f design captain lee and f design for sending me over this jacksonville scenery um yeah uh, love this MD-11. He's sunk in the ground. I thought VATSIM like fixed that problem where certain airplanes were sunk into the ground and stuff like that. I don't know, but uh, that MD is pushing back and that MD-11 he's pushing back. I'm not quite sure what's going on. Do you know when the new SFO for Microsoft is coming out? By Flight Beam? I have no clue, man. Hopefully sooner than later, but um, yeah. Lammy, how are my friend? Good to see you, dude. Uh, sweet, cool, friends, let's go ahead and jump inside the aircraft, let's get this bad boy program ready to rock and roll, get about an hour and a half down into, oh boy, sorry, about an hour and a half down into, um, Jacksonville today, so we're not going to waste any time with this, we'll go ahead and get this bad boy programmed, um, first things first, let's go to the overhead, we'll go ahead and get the battery switched to the on position, that goes on, we'll get standby power flipped over to auto, that'll bring the aircraft to life, we'll go ahead and get our external power on, beautiful, get some bus ties and some utility buses, all of that fun stuff, great, cool, that looks good, we'll go ahead all the way upstairs, let's get our nav, our IRS set to the nav position, so we'll go left side, right side, and center, beautiful, continue our flows, we can get our yaw dampers on now, it's fine, we'll leave the Alex off until we're good for engine start, everything else looks good up there, happy with that, APU stays off for now because we will be refueling, uh, emergency lights get armed, engine selector over to both, we'll leave our fuel pumps off, we'll go and get our position lights on, <coughs> we'll go get our window heat on up here as well, no smoking and seatbelts can just go to the auto position, we're going to go auto one and we'll get our landing elevation, pretty sure it's going to be close to sea level in Jacksonville, but I'm not quite sure, go and get our temperature selection, everything set to the auto position as well, uh, trim air, recirc fans, we'll leave the packs in the off position for now, and isolation valve can get opened, beautiful, uh, let's go spend some time down here on the FMC, we're going to hit the FMC pause and it button, uh, sitting on the ground here, KSDF, we'll go and throw that into our reference airport, we're going to go next, uh, sorry, we're going to grab our GPS position, and we'll go ahead and throw that into there, we'll go to our routing tab, we're going SDF over to Jacksonville, KJAX, we'll go ahead and throw that up into there, beautiful, uh, our flight number today is UPS, what are we, uh, 1322, 1322, we'll throw that up there to our flight number, beautiful, that looks good to me, let's go to our departure page, we're going to be planning for a departure out of, uh, I think 35 left is what Simbrief gave us, now we can always check here, see what's going on with this one. Davis, what's up, my man? Good to see you, dude. Bearded Yeti. How are you, my friend? Oh, you got COVID? Yeti. Did you get COVID while you were down in Florida? Uh-oh. Winds are 3506, so we're definitely planning 3-5 three, three, left for the departure. Uh, if we look at our sim brief, it says that we're on the Fedra 5 departure. Fedra 5 with the Ohagi transition out of 3-5 left. We'll go ahead and execute that. Sorry, route, activate, execute. Good. Route tab, next page. Uh, who do we have coming in here? Brennan, celebrating 14 months. Huge no floaties to you, man. Thanks so much for your 14 months of support. I appreciate that, man. You've got, uh, what do you got here? You've got 10 more months till your two-year badge. Huge no floaties, man. Thanks for your support, dude. I appreciate you. It's incredibly kind. Uh, usually, what I'm going to do here, chat, sorry, let's go ahead and start boarding the aircraft while we're 
punching in the FMC numbers. Zero fuel weight today, 82.5. Let's see what 13 looks like, 82.5. Okay, we'll go 14, and then we'll put in an extra, we need like 2,600, so we'll go like 5,200 on the cargo. 82.8, oh, my math is not good today, chat. 4,800, there we go. 82.5, essentially, is what we'll call that. Um, Fuel for today, 9,985 kilograms. There we go. We'll optimize the CG, try and get that into a better. There we go. 24% is perfect. You want to be around 20, 20 to 25. Leg. Unsubscribing. In case you haven't heard, Thrustmaster released an X-Plane version of their island. Maybe an idea for the oh. next member fly-in event? Hashtag I, inclusive, hashtag all are welcome. Inclusive. I uh, I did get an email this morning. I didn't open it, though, but I guess that's what it is. Huge enough floaties to you, man. Thanks for your support, dude. I appreciate you, man. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you all. I'll have a look at that. Island for X-Plane. Interesting. I wonder how they made that one work. Probably just the same way they did in Microsoft. I'll have to check that out. I think you're right. Um, cool. Let's go ahead and load the airplane. It says, loading the plane, please wait. Beautiful. Aircraft is loading. They're doing their things. Wonderful. From Ohagi, we're going direct uh, Victor X-Ray Victor. Victor X-Ray Victor. We'll throw that into there. Beautiful. From there, we're going direct to Oscar Delta Foxtrot. Throw that into there as well. Beautiful. Uh, from there, we're going direct to the Fine VOR, or Finny, whatever you want to call it. We'll call it Fine, and we'll execute that. And then we're going to jump on the uh, OD-1 arrival. Index arrivals, the OD-1, there it is there, with the Fine transition uh, winds into Jacksonville. It says we're using the 30s. Let's see what the winds are doing here. It says it wants us on runway 32. We'll see if the winds match up with that. I don't, I think this is our first time flying into Jacksonville, Chad, to be honest with you. Uh, 32 seems to be, we're parking over here. The, the cargo ramp number one is where, uh, UPS parks their aircraft. Winds are 360 at nine. So... Yeah, that would make sense. Runway 32 would be our best option. So we'll scroll down here. We'll look for the ILS Runway 32. Maybe there is no ILS. Ooh, only RNAVs. Mmm, chat. We've been doing a lot of RNAVs this uh, this week. It's been kind of nice. Let's go to Jacksonville. Let's go to approaches. Let's see if we can pick out a nice little RNAV approach. We've got an RNAV Zulu. Nope, that's boring. We've got an RNAV Yankee. A mm, little bit more fun. Um, where are we going to be coming in from? That's the big thing. We're going to be coming in from this way, from Pepe. So if we go back and look at the charts here, the Yankee from Pepe, uh, I don't see Pepe anywhere in here, but I'm sure we can take it from a scene. Uh, do I see a scene on here? Uh, there's a scene right there, 210, 4000. So I guess that's what we'll do. So we'll plan for the Arnav Yankee runway 32 from a scene. It actually ends up being a pretty cool approach, almost like one of those other little circle to things. So that's what we'll do. So we'll plan the Arnav Yankee, uh, just to kind of confirm that is exactly what I did. Yes, Arnav Yankee 32. Uh, RNF Yankee 3-2, good, and we're going to take it from a scene, and we'll go ahead and execute that. Beautiful. Let's go to our legs page. Let's scroll through here. We'll make sure we don't have any crazy discontinuities. There's one. We'll fix that. We'll keep scrolling through. Um, it should be a scene, K uh, Callum. Let's see. A scene, Callum, a zouge, unuge. Uh, yep, yeah, fossil, and then we're into runway 3-2. Okay, cool. Everything looks good there. I'm happy with that. Um... Let's go all the way up. We're just waiting for the adheres to align. We've got three minutes on the adheres to align, and uh, we should be close to um, being boarded to go. How is Sassel doing today? Uh, good, because we removed the sound pack. For whatever reason, the FT Sim sound pack was cr causing the performance issues yesterday. Um, so I'm glad we're able to kind of isolate that as quickly as we did. Landing elevation today, as I mentioned, basically sea level, saying 29 feet for the airport. So we'll go ahead and just bump this down. We'll put this to like 25 feet or 30 feet or something like that. Uh, there we go. We'll go 30 feet on that. We are in the auto position. Everything looks good there. Beautiful. Uh, we're just waiting on the fuel. We should be done here momentarily on the boarding process. 9.9 .9 is what we should have on the fuel. And then we should be fully boarded once we've got 9.9. .9. I don't know why. It, it, is it going to stop at 10? 9,000. I guess it's going to stop. It says plane loaded now. So there we go. Cool. Let's go to our airplane. We'll close the left front and the main doors. Let's go upstairs. We'll go and get our forward fuel pump on and we'll go ahead and spool up the APU so that we're basically good to go. We've got two minutes left on our adhere time align and then we'll be ready for push, uh, push back, ready to go. 
Um, if you haven't flown to Kjax in the sim before, there are some terrain issues. Uh, no, we're, we're on X-Plane. Um, there's no terrain issues. I'm sure there would be some terrain issues if we were in the other one. Yeah. Are there camera presets for the Zebo and X-Pen 11? Uh, there should be up on my Discord, yes, the views and info. But you're going to have to go, like, all the way to the top. Because, uh, man, uploading X-Plane views, you're probably talking years and years ago, man. Um, okay. Uh, top altitude on our departure here is 5,000 feet. Obviously, uh, I don't see any crazy restrictions or anything like that. So we'll just go higher as well. So uh, 10,000 is fine because we'll probably hand fly it up to about 5 or 6. So we'll do that. We fly the 7.6 only the 7.5 and the Q400 in XP. Uh, just this week, we're focusing on the 7.5 and the Q400. Next time we're in X-Plane, uh, I will be choosing two different airplanes flying ATC. So the 7.6.7, also a good option. Uh, maybe we'll dust off the Zebo. Maybe we'll dust off the, the A321 by Tolis. Uh, there's a lot of other options that we have for X-Plane. But just this week, yes, I was focusing on the Q400 and the 7.5.7. As these are my two favorite airplanes for X-Plane, I, I think that these these are right up there the any builds a300 is incredible as well um so that could be also on the docket um i've heard the md11 is good i haven't flown the md11 in a very long time uh, i'd have to reach out to the developers because i was provided a copy of the md11 i never paid for a copy of the md11 so i will have to go and message the developer and, and see if they can send me over their x-plane 12 version of the aircraft zero fuel weight 82.5 gross weight 92.5 perfect reserves we're going with two we're looking for a cruise level today of 370 37,000 feet now it's calling for a cost index of like 90 something uh 92 on my cost index i think that's a little bit much so we're just going to go with 35 our usual numbers um top of climb winds 288 at 48 should have a nice like quartering headwind ish type deal 288 at 48 bug those numbers up there beautiful let's go to our takeoff page we're gonna go flaps five degrees uh we're gonna go um thrust up to 50 degrees big enough runway we can be fine with that our cg weight today is 23 percent, which gives us a trim value of 4.4 and we'll select our v speeds on 42 45 49 and with that our pre-flight is complete Adiers are aligned as well we'll flip that to map and there you have it we are good to go um we are on the departing out this way like this yes perfect cool sweet that looks good upstairs uh epu gen goes on we'll get the, all of our engine hydraulics and pumps all on as well we'll go ahead and remove the external power you hear the bus transfer we'll go and get our fuel pumps on we'll go and get our apu bleed on as well there comes the duct pressure we'll go to plugins better pushback start pushback out of cockpit please show me where you want to go we'll get them to push us back right about there should be good we'll enter that in the cockpit is good uh we'll open up our little tablet here we'll go to our ground services we'll remove the chocks we'll remove the stairs we'll remove the gpu we'll remove the fuel truck and we will remove the loader units and uh pushback truck in operation we're good to go here chat we're looking mighty fine auto brake can go over to rto gonna see the pushback truck come through the the terminal here magically no problem nothing to see here makes sense actually being this is a medium flight uh cost index isn't that crazy yeah Took a little break from the channel and we're in X-Plane now. Did something improve? Uh, nope, just wanted to fly different airplanes. Uh, I felt that the content was getting a little bit stale as we were constantly always either flying an A320 or a 737 variant. Uh, I felt it was, you know, nice to mix up every now and then. Get into, uh, get into, uh, okay. All doors and you know, are get into a different airplane. Something uh, that we haven't been able to fly in. I don't think I've flown the 757 in probably over a year and a half so uh it's good to jump into some airplanes that you, you don't fly all, all, all that often you know i was out here flying the phoenix for like a month because i wanted to get that itch before the 737 efb get here and we still don't have an efb i know um I, I swear, dude, every time I say, like, it's going to be this week, it's going to be this week, I feel silly mentioning that I think it's going to be every week now, but, I mean, they, they can't be far off, man. They they really can't be far off. Um, he's ready for push. We'll release the park brake. Hopefully nobody's pushed back behind us. Nope, we're good. A FedEx plane in Louisville. Uh-oh. 
That's sacrilegious, my friend. You can't do that. You cannot fly. You cannot fly FedEx. I think they do fly FedEx into SDF, don't they? There are a few FedEx planes that come into here. Um, just waiting for the METAR report. I guess I can just pop that up onto here. SDF weather. Uh, altimeter was 3004. Oops, didn't mean to do that. 3004. Let me bug that up. 3004. We'll send that over there. And 3004 in our backup. Beautiful. Cool. Let's go upstairs. Bleed pressure. Everything looks good. We'll go engine number two over to ground. Turn up those sounds a little bit. Good. Again, we're looking for about 20% and two before we introduce fuel. There's 20%. We'll intro fuel. Why does it look so bad for a moment when changing views? It's just the way that the the modeling of the aircraft is done. <clears throat> just like in Microsoft Flight Simulator, when you do these wing views, you're essentially tricking the camera. So that's like the main thing. You're basically tricking, tricking the cameras into thinking that you're actually inside the airplane when you're not inside the airplane. Um, I think I have everything done up there. We've got that set. Auto, that's all good. I, I think we're looking good. We're just going to wait for pushback now. We've got one good engine. We are using the Pratt & Whitney's today. Your 757 getting ready to fly Oakland to KSAN. Nice. Awesome. I, I love doing that flight, man. Yeah. Waiting for an Air India 777 long haul. Yes. Beacon off. I just turned the beacon on, Sean. Thanks. Uh, hey, cool question. So right now I'm with Microsoft and I already invested a little bit, but I was thinking also get back into x and go for mostly long haul Operation there. Is it worth it? That's parking brake. Again, I don't know how to answer this question. It depends how much money you want to spend. It depends how much time and effort you want to spend into configuring x plane x plane is not easy by any means. Uh, there's a huge learning curve when it comes to x plane with like installing scenery, scenery INIs, aircraft, updating things. It's, yes. Ah, my Monday ball of sunshine. Hello, Melinda. Welcome back. I hope you are doing well. I'm going to hold you to a cap, I believe, uh, you on this week, the EFB. I mean, I feel like it's got to come before the end of September. We've got less than two weeks. I don't understand why it wouldn't be coming. It, it's been in beta for the better part of a month now into the beta tester's hands, sorry. So you'd have to believe at some point it's going to be releasing, right? As for the INI, X-Organizer does it for you. I've had issues with X-Organizer. Again, I haven't used X-Organizer in like two years. So maybe the issues that I was having have all been ironed out. Um, that is a good option, sure. Yeah. Um, is it still a freeware or is it a paidware, payware project? Upset, it's totally worth it. The updated version reduces computer wear, less fans screaming. What's that, Chris? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm lost. Are we talking about something else? All right, we should have two good engines, which we do. Go and get our packs to the auto position. Engine bleeds can come on, APU bleed can come off. APU goes off, everything else looks good up there. We'll get our logo lights on. He should be disconnecting. Yep, he's already disconnected, beautiful. Let's go flaps two notches down to five degrees, and we're looking for a takeoff trim of 4.4, and I think it's basically already got it set for me. So we'll keep 4.4 in there, good. Uh, make sure that our TCAS is doing TCAS things. We're going to go 2,000 on and reporting, and we'll turn our traffic on there. Beautiful. Cool. Everything looks good. I think we're ready to rock and roll. I'm just going to bug up uh, runway heading here, which is going to be 350. Good. And we'll go flight director, left side, flight director, right side, LNAV, VNAV, and taxi light goes on, park brake goes off, and let's go. X organized has been payware for four plus years. Yeah, so again, you know, I'm not trying to, to shit on an add on or something like that, but hard to suggest something that is now a payware. I remember when X organizer was free. Um, so again, do you want to spend this kind of full circle back to what I was like the first thing that I was saying to get invested into X plane? How much money do you want to spend? And, and how much knowledge are you willing to, to kind of go through and figure out and teach yourself when it comes to X-Plane? Because it's not as simple as a drag and drop, right? You can't just, you know, Microsoft, fuck dude, half the time in Microsoft, you just run an EXE and it installs, you know what I mean? So, yeah. I just tested it, it doesn't have this weird texture switching from views in the 7.5, but I'm using the built-in cam and not X-Cam. Yeah, well, that's exactly why, Frank. I'm, I'm using, you know, um, wing views and stuff like that, so, yeah. 
All right, we're going out to 3-5 left. Should be a short little taxi for us here. We're going to go out uh, all the way out to Bravo, and we're going to go all the way down to Bravo 1. Uh, let me make sure we're switched over to Unicom, and then make sure I turn that on as well. There we go. Cool. Cut and paste in a text file. Well, see, for us, we're used to that, right, AJ? We've grown up in the, like I said, again, I'm just trying to go full circle, man. It, it, most people don't, like, most people, I think you should know, AJ, most people don't quite understand how this stuff works. And it, again, I'm, I'm not saying no, that you shouldn't get invested into X-Plane. I'm just saying the major question is, how much are you willing to invest your time, your efforts, your knowledge, and how much money are you willing to invest into the hobby? That's it, man. I'm not saying, no, don't buy X-Plane. I don't know why you guys are getting so defensive about it. it it's true. There, there are far more steps to install scenery and make sure that the sim runs correctly than there are any other simulator. There's no I and I file with P3D. There's no I and I file or, or the way that the scenery has to be structured with ortho and overlays. And you know, there's more than just adding a text file. There's knowing which orders they go into, how they go into. You know, of course, there's going to be tutorials and there's going to be stuff out there to learn, but I'm just, I'm just saying, uh, you know, uh, uh, both, both perspectives here, right? So, yeah. There are plenty of tutorials on YouTube on how to configure the XPlan files after you get the hang of it. It's a piece of cake. Yes, I, I would agree with you, but once again, uh, we're, we're, there's a lot of people in the community that don't, that don't have, um, they, they don't want to put that type of effort in. They don't care to learn, right? So before I tell somebody, yeah, you should absolutely buy x -Plane, I think I'm perfectly legit in saying, how much money do you want to spend? How much effort and time do you want to spend creating ortho, looking at INI &I files, figuring stuff out? Th those are legitimate, not, not being rude, I'm not slandering x -Plane. Those are legitimate reasons behind either wanting to get invested into a simulator or not. That's it, man. That's really it. And you have to remember, different people learn at a different pace. Just because you were able to watch a video and figure out an INI &I file like that doesn't mean that the next person is going to be able to watch a video and figure it out like that, right? So, remember, there's lots of, lots of people out there. Yeah. Another note, I kind of missed the retro look of both the airplane and the sim. Yeah, I, I mean, x is very much a, a flying, you know. Uh, we're departing on 3-5 left. We're going to be taking Bravo 1, which is going to be right here. Bravo 1. You know, one thing that I would just like to point out, I don't know if I've ever met a more defensive group in my entire life. This whole week that I've been back in x it almost feels like... And this is just me speaking off the top of my head of what I've noticed over the last week of being here. It almost feels like x users don't want me to use x -Plane. It, it, it It feels as if, just judging by some of the comments, some of the DMs that I've received, I, I feel like I'm not doing... You guys are... Well, not you guys. Some people in chat are making it feel like I, I shouldn't even bother with x -Plane. Like I'm, I'm not doing it due diligence. I'm doing... Um, it's like you guys are acting like I'm purposely trying to bash or slander x -Plane or paint it in this bad light. Um, again, I went into this week and, and I did my best. I spent hours, literally hours, trying to configure this simulator. I brought over all my ortho. I brought over all my V-states. I brought over third-party sceneries. I updated airplanes. I made sure everything was, was spot on for x -Plane so that it would be a... Uh, an enjoyable experience for the weekend and so far I have enjoyed the experience but I think people I, I don't know if it's just my, my comments previously when it came to x -Plane and, and you guys are the x -Plane users are just standing there with a pitchfork but it, it, that's what it feels like it, it, it feels like I'm not welcome to stream x -Plane anymore it feels like I, I don't I shouldn't be here streaming this that, that's the general consensus that I've received over the last week is just that people are it's uh i, I it's it's kind of hard to explain to be honest with you it, it's hard to explain the, the feeling but i just get like i said i get this feeling that people aren't uh 
people are more like, you know what, we don't need you. You know what I mean? And, and they're just like, you've abandoned us already in X-Plane and you, you, you mainly fly Microsoft now and we don't want you back in X-Plane. And that when I do stream X-Plane, I'm not streaming X-Plane to showcase the potential of X-Plane. It feels like you guys think I'm streaming X-Plane to show you how bad it is. Um, and again, th that was not my, I don't know, if I really wanted to showcase how bad X-Plane was, I would have had default airports default ground textures. Uh, I would have flown default A330 airplanes. Uh, there's a lot of things that I could have done to really show the simulator, the true simulator itself. I personally think I've done my best. Third party sceneries, ortho with vertical sim V states, hand color corrected ortho imagery. I've basically done my best to showcase X-Plane in the best light possible, uh, in my opinion, but I, I feel like it's just been taken the absolute wrong way. So uh, anyways, th that's just my thoughts. I, I could, be, could be going crazy, but um, I just feel that, that, that that's the impression that, uh, that, that I've received over the last week is just that X-Plane users don't want me to use X-Plane anymore. Well, it's up to 40%. Let's go ahead and get our chrono on. Beautiful and toga. Let's go flying. Take off power set. Airspeed's alive. Flaps clean. gear does automatically go off, Andy. There's an option for auto gear lever in the settings of this aircraft. Alrighty. Beautiful departure coming up 5,500 feet. Autopilot 1's going on. Bring you guys back up into the flight deck. Cool. Sounds are coming back here just a little bit. Let's get our cruise altitude plugged in. 37,000 feet is where we're going. One great thing about x -Plane. Those beautiful flyby shots. Hint, hint. Unpopular opinion. Shift one is better than shift two. Love the Shift one? What's a shift one? Shift one? I don't know if I've ever used shift one. It's an interesting view. The guy kind of takes it away from it. I don't know if I've ever used shift one. 
Thank you for the support. Appreciate you, my friend. Three dollar donation. Huge no floaties, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Cool. Up and on route. Climbing away. Uh, should have had those lights on. Should have also had those lights on. Nose lights off. Good. That's done. And there we are. Climbing up out of Louisville. What is the sound pack? These are default sounds, actually. They're done quite well for default sounds. Garnet, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Shift 1 is definitely better than Alt F4. Yeah, don't do Alt F4. <clears throat> Why should anyone get mad at just because uh, I hate the sim that they like? Like I said, dude, I, I don't understand. I, I don't know if I've ever met a more defensive group this past week than I ever had in x -Plane. I mean, I've seen I've seen Discord posts. I've seen Reddit posts. People think because I'm, I don't run the simulator at maximum settings that I'm somehow slandering x -Plane. Like I said, dude, uh, it, it's, it's been an eye-opening week, that's for sure. Uh, it's been a very interesting one. Um, I thought people would be happy that I would be back in X-Plane and showing some love to X-Plane and kind of supporting it, but uh, I actually think it's a complete opposite. I think some people are happy to see me use X-Plane, but I would say the majority of people are kind of like, nah, fuck you, man. You you left and uh, you left and you're not welcome back. We don't ever want you back here. That, that's that's pretty much the general consensus that I've received. Um, yeah, I couldn't tell you, man. I couldn't tell you. I, I I don't know why people think like that. I don't know. I don't know, man. I do not know. Do you prefer the flight mechanics and explain to Microsoft? It depends on the aircraft. It really depends on the aircraft, Joshua. Uh, one of the things I always say is Microsoft has a great tool where you can kind of. You, you can really fine tune your joystick and your controls for a specific aircraft. Um, I feel like if more people spent time actually configuring their 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 yoke or their joystick to the way that um, they it feels comfortable or what they're used to, it, it's super easy. You know. Brett, listen, man, I thought about doing that, but I think at the end of the day, I would have got even more hate than I'm receiving. Like I said, dude, I've tried to make X-Plane look as good as it can. I'm running ortho imagery. I, I have my textures, no compression, maxed out. I have clouds on ultra. I've done everything I can to paint a beautiful picture for X-Plane. Um, but uh, apparently it's not good enough. Sonny, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Okay, what occupation prior to doing streaming full-time? I was a full-time special metals welder. Special metals welder. Yeah. Uh, watching a stream yesterday made me actually update my X-12 and plugins and give these nice planes a spin. Still better for uh, planes, I think, but visuals, meh. Uh, both have their own place, I guess. Yeah, for sure. For sure, man. I running a sound pack today? Nope, these are default Pratt & Whitney sounds that come with the aircraft. I find the Pratt & Whitney sounds are far better than the uh, default RB211s. Yeah. Ultra, what's up man? Good to see you dude, welcome back. Fancy, right Andy? And by precious, by, by uh, special metals, it stainless and aluminum is what it was. Yeah. I can't get past this Dyson sounding engine. They're not, yeah, like, I mean, listen, they're not sound pack worthy, but for default sounds, they're not the worst that I've heard, that's for sure. I don't like that it's on a very short loop. You can kind of hear and hear and hear it over and over and over again, but, uh, yeah. Looking forward to Modern Warfare 3? Dude, so much. When does it release? Is it October or November? I'm very excited for Modern, you know why I'm excited for Modern Warfare 3? Because we get all the old maps from 2009 dude think 2009 i messaged my buddy the other day i sent him the, the the map list and i said this was in your basement up till 4 or 5 a.m every day playing this i'm so ready dude i'm so ready x one is not meant to be a pretty sim i feel that it's meant to be more realistic in the physics i also feel like it's more accessible for those with lower end setups i actually think on the contrary i think microsoft runs extremely well i think what people what people don't understand is you can put Microsoft on low and medium and it still looks absolutely fantastic. So, 
November 10th it comes out? Okay, interesting. So that's the day, Friday, November 10th. I get home Saturday, November 11th from flights, uh, from World Flight, sorry. So I will be, uh, I'll definitely be playing the night I get home. Yeah, for sure. Cap, how do you set up your fleet in Sim Toolkit Pro? I don't. I don't, I don't care about the fleets. I don't know where we're getting the old maps. Great to hear, not gonna lie. All of the old maps, pigeon flying. Every single one of them, dude. I think there's like 14 or 15 maps from the original Modern Warfare that we're getting. Like, dude, Terminal, Favela. Bro, I can't wait. I literally can't wait. Kill house, no, what is it? Shoot house, kill house, not shoot house, not kill house. What's the other one? Where it's got the house on like top of the, the cliff, you know what I mean? Man. Hear me out, back in college only a few years ago, black ops at nights, lights off in front of a 70 inch TV with surround sound. Man, special times. Now, if you're a true gamer, you know you can't game on a 70 inch. There's just too much input lag. If you're a true gamer, 32 inch max is what you're gonna go. Yeah. Worth it for terminal alone? Estate, that's the one, thank you. Yes, it's crazy. We got spoiled with Microsoft. I think any other sim around P3D Infinite, etc. It doesn't really look better uh, than XP. Microsoft hired a professional gaming company, so for sure that's not something usual. Um, and I think, and I think instead of like, I think that's just a kudos to Microsoft for realizing the community, right? And that's kind of where I'm at with Xplain right now. Is I think, as we as we spoke about yesterday, Frank, you know, th they've done a poll, and it's it's over ninety percent of users who use flight sims don't fly in the real world, right? Um, and I think Microsoft totally took that into perspective when developing Microsoft Flight Simulator. And that's why you have the stunning visuals that you have in Microsoft, the clouds, the, the ortho, the, the, the lighting, everything about it, right? But, um, yeah. Long before the loot crates, yes, exactly. Do you think you're gonna upgrade to a 48 or wait for the 5000 series? So Andy, I'm gonna build a new PC. I've got some sponsorships coming in. Uh, well, fingers crossed, we've got some re sponsorships coming in the new year um so in the new year i'm gonna look to uh to build a new pc probably january february some somewhere around there there's talk about maybe potentially going to this fs weekend in amsterdam now so i, I gotta email make some emails and check on some things but yeah i'd be the first to recommend microsoft to someone being completely new to the flight sim world i agree with you i don't know how you could sit somebody and tell them bold face that, you know, x would be the better option if you're just getting into the hobby. I, I agree. Yep. Don't care about Modern Warfare series, but if you want to go against me in an old Quake 3 arena, hit Oof. me up on Discord. Quake 3. That's probably been 10 years since I played Quake. Yeah. FS Weekend? Well, there, it's not FS Expo. Be, be, keep in mind, two different things. FS Weekend is in the Netherlands, and it's in March. Um, that's FS Weekend, and then um, FS Expo is in June, and it's going to be in Las Vegas. So, yeah. Microsoft tutorials are next level, especially the ones from FSX. They are beautiful. Yeah. He got work on the UPS ramp in Jacksonville. Very cool to see you doing this flight. Normally, this flight would be done in an A300 at 6 a.m. You are correct. Yeah, exactly. FS Expo in Vegas. Man, I'm so excited. So excited. We're going to get an MD-11 flight as well. Maybe next time. Maybe next time we jump back into x -Wayne. If there is a next time, we'll see. Um, we can consider doing some MD-11, 767, something like that. What do you have natural movement set to an XP realistic? Uh, I have no clue. Natural movement, 35%. Shame no one's working on a 350 in Microsoft. It would be cool to see. Well, we don't know if anybody's working on it. Nothing has been announced yet. I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't count yourself out of that one, though. Who knows, man? I mean, li like we were talking about this weekend, I, I think if you're a development group and you look at the potential within Microsoft, you'd be silly not to be trying to develop for that, for that simulator. So um, who knows, man? Who knows what's happening? We didn't have Captain Canada give us a speech about gambling in Vegas before the expo. Nope, you are all adults. I am not daddy. You can do whatever you'd like to do. Just be smart. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Be smart. It's Vegas. Be careful. We're already getting a 777 and a 380. True. 
Yeah. And a 7.5 and a 7.6. Okay. Will there be any new releases for Microsoft uh, or is everyone waiting for 2024? No, there's going to be lots. Uh, Microsoft has already confirmed that all of the aircraft that work in 2020 will work for 2024. So the developers are still full steam ahead, man. We've got an A319 and A321 coming. We've got an MD11 and we've got an A300 all coming by the end of the year for Microsoft Flight Sim. So four major airplanes. After Dark stream from Area 51. <laughs> no cell service out there. No cell service. 2024 will just be missions added, nothing new from what I've seen. That's not. How do you... <laughs> God damn it, Melinda. I swear at this point you're just doing these things on purpose. <laughs> 2024 will just be missions added, nothing new from what I've seen. I suggest doing a little bit of research before you start spewing diarrhea in chat, especially chats that are on the internet where people can see what you say. You could not be, I'm not even going to bother. Just do your own research. Think whatever you want to think. If that's what you want to think, sure. No problem, man. What is the easiest wide body to fly? That's a tough question. It depends in terms of easiest how you go. It really depends. It really depends. I don't know if... Are you more comfortable with Airbus systems? Are you more comfortable with Boeing systems? It really depends. It really depends. Ignoring the new engine and dynamics, it's basically the same. And the new, and the new physics model, and the new uh, rendering engine that it's on as well. Yeah, yeah, it's just missions. We're just adding missions to 20... That's all it is. 2024 is just missions. That's why I'm. That's why I've, I have to be at this point. She had like, she he. I don't want to assume anybody's gender in 2023. Uh, has to be trolling at this point. I, you can't make those comments with a straight face and think like you're. Like, what? Hello. This creature gets more miserable by the day. It has to be a troll. It, it has to be a troll. I, I mean, I've pretty much convinced myself days ago that it was a troll, but. Do we have missions already? There kind of are some missions. Not really, though. There's more, like, tutorial missions and stuff like that in 2020 right now. Kind of just to help, like, newer flight simmers get used to controls and airplanes and stuff. Imagine if the 50R380 will be planned. At, well, that's what I... What the fuck? That's, that's exactly what I've expected um, to be going. The fact that we don't have the A380 already leads me to believe that Microsoft has picked it up and it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be part of the default planes in 2024. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble with this, but I know that Anybuilds is making an airplane. That's going to be default for 2024. Shh, you didn't hear that here. I didn't say anything. I promise you. Don't clip that. Don't quote that. Melinda's going to clip that and send that over to Anybuilds now, and I'll probably get in trouble. But, um, yeah, I, I know that that's happening. So keep that in mind. Like I said, but again, guys, nothing's changing. We're just getting missions, okay? Nothing's changing. Just getting missions. Um, so there, there's always that aspect of it. There's, there's, um, so again, that kind of leads me to believe that um, the 380 is going to be part of 2024. I don't know. That's just my only logical guess at this point. Unless, like, they plan on releasing it and we get it, like, before Christmas or something like that, you know? So, yeah. Wouldn't like to see Vertical Sim also make an X-Plane 12 version of uh, Provo Airport? Uh, I don't know. Has Vertical even made any sceneries for X-Plane since Microsoft came out? I don't know if he has. Man, I don't like how white those clouds are down there and how they do this weird thing when you move your camera. I don't... It, they almost look just completely washed out. There's like a little bit of detail there, but it's just like a blinding... I don't know. I wish there was more detail to them. I want to say 380 is really cool. Uh, 
uh, plane, but when it comes to simming, uh, huge jets are just very intimidating. I mean, until you get used to them. If you're already used to flying like a 7.6 or a 7.7 or something like that, I think you'll be fine. You know? Andy, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Yeah, yeah, Sonny. Of course. The good old the good old Discord team, the good old X Plane Discord team will say, because I have my clouds at maximum, that this is why it's doing this this only if, if you had your clouds at low, it wouldn't do that. It's because I'm running my clouds at maximum that I'm having the cloud tearing. You know they'd come up with something. Jet airliners look intimidating but are very pilot friendly. Well they have to be. The biggest thing is kind of piloting an aircraft like this by yourself when it's meant to be done by two people. That's the biggest thing you'll probably have to teach yourself, you know? So, yeah. Watch me take uh, 380 from Berlin to Hamburg. <laughs> it's my kind of flight. My kind of flight. As long as it's not another E300 or a 330, for the love of God, you will see. Who knows, man? Who knows? Well, to be fair, we don't have a 330 yet. I wouldn't mind having a 330. I don't know. At this point, I, I don't have very much faith in the Aerosoft E330. So, I don't know. Who knows? I'm just used to things like the 737s and the CRJs. And you'll get used to it, man. Don't worry. You'll get used to it. I'm trying to think what would be the best step forward from like a 7.3 and a CRJ. Probably like a 7.5 or a 7.6, to be honest with you. Um, default, I'm not sure. It does. Yes, I can click on them and they're popping out. I think that's what you meant, right? So yes, it looks like they are fully supported now because I can click on displays and they're popping out like that. So yes, it looks like it is fully supported. I was honestly thinking about the 7.5. I mean, this is a great airplane. If you own X-Plane, you're invested in X-Plane. I think it's silly if you don't own this airplane. It's a fantastic airplane. Um, arguably one of my favorites, to be honest with you. One of my favorites in X-Plane. I've, I've owned this aircraft for so long. I originally bought this for X-Plane 10. And then it got updated for X-Plane 11. And then the X-Plane 12, there was no upgrade fee. Which I was kind of surprised because it's flight factor. I was kind of surprised that there was no upgrade fee from X-Plane 11 to X-Plane 12. Phoenix V2 block too soon? Yes, by the end of the month. Going to finally get some IAE engines. I am so excited to do some proper ops using proper engines and stuff yeah can't wait to meet you at the expo in my home state i don't think you'll be there melinda but okay no problem flew the phoenix a320 yesterday it was great i i, I think we're going to be in the phoenix next week andy I, I'm, I'm excited i'm excited to jump back into an airbus it's been a fun week but yeah what happened to the ft sim sounds they were creating all kinds of issues porter i don't know why um but they were making the sassel plug-in go absolutely bananas like, my Sassel was running 60, 60-something 60 percent. Even this is a little bit high. I don't think it should be that high. But, um, yeah, my Sassel was going through the roof. Um, 60, 70, 80 percent. So, yeah. The fact that I probably didn't have the space in their aircraft package diagram to accommodate the upgrade fees. I don't know. They Fly Factor charges for everything, so I don't know, man. I do not know. Mr. Q8 Pilot celebrating 30 months as a first class member says my dear friend and favorite flight simulator my favorite simulator what a treat thank you captain canada good to see you mr q8 i've, I've actually had uh i've had a pretty good time i've had a pretty good time this week mr q8 i was uh, in my q400 my beloved q400 probably my favorite airplane of all time and uh arguably like i just mentioned probably my second favorite um in the 757 uh, i've owned this airplane for probably close to seven eight years now i think um i have a lot of hours in this aircraft and it is a, a lot of fun to fly so thank you for coming in and stopping by my friend i hope you're doing well we've got atlanta center on 3297 for us chat atlanta center i think no i guess we'd be miami or jack center right if we had full atc all the way in what is the next plane you're flying in X-Plane this week? Uh, this is it for X-Plane. This is going to finish off the week in X-Plane. Uh, next week, we'll be back in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and I believe we're going to be in the Phoenix A320. <laughs> I 
I know the Microsoft Community Heat Simple, the Captain Sim Triple Seven and Seven Six aren't that bad. Uh, they are good to have as a stopgate. Mm, I don't think so, Andy. I mean, listen, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. As a content creator and somebody that um, has been involved in the flight sim community, I personally don't think so. But what are my volume settings in the EFB? Uh, I can show you them. There's my volume settings. I don't know if you want to take a screenshot of it quickly. You can see that's what I'm. That's how I'm running it. Hope X-Wing will be back soon. We'll see, man. We'll see. We should also. Good to see the airplane now have engine cone spirals. It is nice. Yeah. Get some beautiful views out here. <clears throat> the ripples of those Adirondack, uh, Adirondack Mountains always look cool to fly past. They do. I love it. It's probably one of my favorite places out east to fly by. They are pretty. The little rolling hills. They're cool. By any chance, do you know why the PMG 777 is giving me an alarm while I put my flaps down? You can't go past flaps 10 without your gear down. So, to go like flaps 15, you have to have gear down. So that would probably be why. I have an urge to fly the 7.5 when I get off work. Thanks, Cap. Sorry. Apologize. It's such a great airplane. Yeah. For the all-in-one solution for flight simming, uh, T-16,000. For sure, 49 whiskey. Yeah, much more like you can set it up with the Airbus. You can set it up with Boeing, no problem. So, yeah, I, I would go with the T-16,000. What is the plan for the week? Uh, week coming up, we're going to be back in Microsoft, and I think we're going to be in the A320 next week. We'll see. A320 or 737? I haven't fully decided yet. Center, good afternoon, UPS 1322, flight level 370. UPS 1322, Atlanta Center, squawk 3742. 3742. 3742 is in for him. Is there a way to calibrate the TCA, TCA Boeing yoke and throttle? My yoke has a left turn and the right throttle is way ahead of the left. Besides changing the Microsoft settings, there are legit calibration. Yes, go to the Thrustmaster website and download. I uh, wonder if your drivers are maybe out of date or something. But yeah, today is one flight or two. Only one flight, unfortunately. Atifa was supposed to be two, but I've got some errands that I have to run. Um, one of the, my ride-on mower that I used to cut all the grass out at the farm, uh, one of the tires popped um, and went completely flat. So I actually decided to change all the tires. Um, and I've been waiting quite a while for my buddy who works at a tire shop to get uh, to get the tires in and he finally got them in so I've got to go deal with all of that I tried to get to do it tomorrow but he doesn't doesn't have time tomorrow or the rest of the week so that checks thanks 1322 uh, was your original channel name 420 Captain Blunt uh, Captain Blunt 420 is what it was yes when I was like 12 years old 13 years old I made that account yeah Next week, we have the Phoenix V2 Block 2 and Sim Update 13. Let's hope it doesn't break the Phoenix. I mean, usually the developers are ahead of, at least by... They're already on those updates. The developers, they have access to those, so... I'm sure they'll be testing to make sure. Next stream is Thursday, Melinda. Exclamation point schedule. Vatsim is a great thing, especially since FS default ETC sucks. Oh yeah, it's not good. No, I don't I don't know if I've ever used default ETC to be honest with you. It's always been out of whack, you know. If 
Probably wouldn't appeal to sponsors nowadays. Ah, maybe not the family-friendly sp sponsors so much. <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny? I'm pretty sure I made this account after I watched, like, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. I'm pretty sure that's, like, when... Right around that time. You know? Right around that time. Should I buy X-Plane 11 or X-Plane 12? If you want to get into X-Plane, definitely X-Plane 12. Um, yeah. The only tolerable default ETC, I believe, was FSX. Even then, it was still... Made you do weird things, you know? Uh, 1713, I hope that fixes the weird mouse glitch people always talk about with the white dot flicker. Yes, I agree. I, th I think it does, but I, I don't know. I have to read the release notes and stuff like that. Is X-12 worth it right now for the lack of Microsoft Flight Simulator content? Again, that's completely up to you, man. Um, is it a viable option? Absolutely. Uh, again, it depends how much money you want to spend. It depends how much time and effort you want to spend in the simulator as well. Um, it's, it's, it's not an easy simulator to kind of manipulate. Once you understand it, sure it is. Um, but if you're going to get involved into x -Plane, I mean, you're going to be spending hours staring at a screen, creating ortho, downloading ortho. Um, so, it's really up to you, man. It's really up to you. Airplanes cost usually about $100, between $80 and $100, so. Should the screen flickering issue on PMDG get fixed with Simote 13 as well? I'm not quite sure. I don't know if that's a PMDG thing, Kev, or if that's a Microsoft thing. I don't know. I'd have to look more into it, you know. Ready for the uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator MD-11? I am. Yeah, I, I really, I've got high hopes for TFDI, man. I really hope they've done a good job, Zach. It's going to be their first aircraft for the simulator. It's I know that they've been working on it for quite a while now, so, yeah. Love the wing flex. So do I. The little subtle wing flex, the little bouncing up there. It's probably because we've got a wicked wind right now. Yeah, it's got like almost like a quartering, quartering-ish tailwind. Slightly faster on the ground speed than our true airspeed. It's good. Cruising at Mach 0. 0.80. Hopefully it's better uh, than when Rotate MD-11 released. Yeah, hopefully, man. God, what a shamble that thing was in. Which, which kind of sucks, too, because like, I've heard really good things about the aircraft now. So, yeah. I remember, man, the developer sent that to me, and they were talking about a release date. And I remember I couldn't get the airplane to, like, capture a localizer or a glide slope. And you remember it kept, like, it would overshoot the magenta line. And then it would just turn left and right and left and right. And it would constantly chase the flight path. It wouldn't actually fly on the flight path. And I remember mentioning that, that to them. And they were like, yeah, so we're planning a release date for tomorrow. And I'm like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. And I don't really like that they kind of used me as, like, almost like, well, myself and a couple other content creators. I think Q8 Pilot also did some some promotional work for them, and, and he was having a hell of a time with it just like I was. Um, so it kind of sucks when a developer just, like, throws you in into the lions, essentially, right? There was only a handful of people that were able to stream and promote the aircraft, and we were doing our best to kind of, you know show the aircraft in its best light and do our best to kind of, uh, you know, promote promote a good project. And, yeah. Sounds like how the default 74 and 78 was. Uh, it would always chase the magenta uh, like crazy until the latest A2 update. Hmm. Well, the MD-11, uh, it is going to be an early access. Uh, I didn't quite understand it. So... I don't understand it as well. I have to go and do some research on that because I know that TFDI, they did like the pre-release, right? They sold a thousand copies of the aircraft. Uh, and if you bought in, like you get a special plaque with like your number and like there's a bunch of things that... So I don't know if, if in October or whatever the release date of it's going to be for that or if it's going to be for the entire aircraft, everybody's going to be able to use it. I don't know. Even if the TD, uh, the TFDI MD-11 uh, has good sounds at launch, I'll, uh, it'll beat out how the rotate launched. True. Yes. I love the MD-11 and the DC-10. Great aircraft. I also hope the A300, uh, A330 comes soon as much as like PMP, the Airsoft is better. Hopefully, we'll see. Am I using auto-ortho? No, I'm using vertical sim V-states. 
vertical sim v state so that's going to be uh color corrected ortho down there i think it said on their website 1016 collections editions only well there you go so i don't know if that's going to include me i don't know if that's going to include content creators streamers i have no clue we'll have to wait and see i guess A330 coming Q4 2325. Airbus logic. Sorry, Aerosoft logic. I find V states quite buggy in your opinion, especially the installation. V states? It's very simple. Drag and drop and then edit your INI file. I mean, it's it's if you're used to X Plane, it, it I it should be very simple. If you're not used to X Plane, then um, I could see how it would be a pain in the ass. Absolutely. You just have to get yourself familiar with how the INI file works, how it's sceneries, libraries, ortho, and then mesh underneath at the bottom. You have to layer your INI file correctly. I think that's the correct way. It's been a while since I've installed and done sceneries and stuff, but... Yeah. I didn't uh, understand it either. It was number 300-ish uh, in the purchase of the first 1,000. Guess we'll find out soon. Well, there you go. I mean, you should be getting it then on the on the tenth. But again, it's at what capacity are you getting? Are you getting a very early alpha access? Are you getting a beta build? Are you getting an almost complete project? You know, so yeah, the dreaded I and I file. Oh yes, oh yes. The man himself, Mr. Vertical Sim, huge no floaties to you, dude. Thank you very much for the continued support with the beautiful color corrected Vertical Sim V states down there, chat. Some would call him the X-Plane Goat when it comes to uh, Ortho. Huge no floaties, man. Good to see you, dude. Thanks for the support. Appreciate you. I hope all is well, man. Hope all is well, brother. On file isn't so bad with X-Organizer. True. But is, is it really worth paying $15 for an add-on if you don't have, like, an I and I file, I don't know how many sceneries you guys have or how many, like, right? Like, if you're running a ton of stuff, I would see X Organizer being worth it. But at 15 bucks, I mean, you better have 300 sceneries and 500 ortho tiles and you better make X Organizer work for that. You know what I mean? These are the Pratt and Whitney's, correct? Yep. Exactly, Kevin. Counting it down. Counting it down, my man. It's a cool approach. I'm actually excited to fly into Jacksonville. Should be a very uh, visually a nice approach. You can see we're going to come in like this, and then we're going to shoot the Arnav. And just catch like the the uh, north side of the city. Should be nice. Should be really nice. Epic sounding plane. I know you mentioned it, but there's a news article about the 75 crew with an empty plane doing an uh, unrestricted climb to 10k feet. Very cool. I mean, this thing's an absolute beast of an airplane. Yeah. Allegiant 2127, Jack Center's offline. Record service terminated. Frequency change approved. Check it out. Was there a release date given for the PMDG 777? No. No release date yet. Um, they're saying that it is going to enter beta testing soon. Um, so... I don't know. Knowing PMDG, I think their betas usually last a good couple of months. So, yeah. See, if I get a Captain Canada hat, nobody uh, where I live uh, does flight simming. I'd have to uh, first explain what that is before explaining who Cap is. I, I agree. Hey, man. I hear you, dude. I hear you, man. Flight simming. And, and, and again, 
that's kind of why I, 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 I shake my head and I laugh at the flight sim community wanting to fight with each other over what simulator they think is better for them. It's like, dude, we're such a small niche market and you guys want to fight about what you think is better, Microsoft or X-Plane or P3D? Like, come on, man. There's so little of us that, that enjoy this hobby, that are, are passionate about this hobby. It, it just, it boggles my mind that people want to just argue and, and fight and just, yeah. Crazy, man. The Shelby GT500 of the skies. Mm, maybe? What would we have to call the RJ then? Because, man, those CRJs are little... Those are like the, maybe those are the Porsches, the Porsche like 911s of this guy. Those things are crazy, dude. The little RJs, they go quick. The sim doesn't matter to me as long as the simmer is having fun, then who cares? Plus, it's cool seeing the difference. I would agree, man. I would agree. Like I said, I did a lot of work getting the simulator up to a point where I was happy with being able to stream it and showcase the sim. But apparently people think because I'm not running my simulator at maximum... When has when have I ever run any simulator at maximum settings? Like, I, I can't help but laugh, dude. I cannot help but laugh at these people that, like... And that's what I said. I don't know if I've ever met such, like, a, a, a more... A group of people that are just so dissatisfied or constantly feeling like they have to justify X-Plane to the world. Like... The fact that I'm not running my simulator at max. Like, I don't run any of my simulators at max. Like, it's crazy. Still haven't flown the CRJ since I bought it. Wonder if they'll update it again. Hasn't been updated in almost a year and a half. Which is crazy. Would x 12 even work if you used it at max settings? Probably not, man. Not on my system. Not on my 10900K and 3080, that's for sure. I mean, I have everything almost maxed out. I have textures, no compression, maxed all the way out. Four times and eight times anti-aliasing. Um, yeah, it's... it's oh. Noticing only 200 viewers on X-Plane. Um, it's a Monday. Yeah, and uh, it's, it's day four of four of X-Plane. Yeah. Ignorance is bliss. You're not wrong. My PFD and nav on the 7.5 will not turn on. Hmm. That's weird. I'm not quite sure, Lightspeed. I don't know why I would be doing. Do you have ground power? Are you on APU? I don't know. People spend half the time worrying about their own life rather than what other people doing. The people uh, would be so much happier. And the world would be a much better place, Strody. That's for damn sure, dude. That's for damn sure, man. Listen, I like I said, it, I wouldn't... It, it's just been... I just find it funny. Like, I, I personally don't care... I just find it ironic and hilarious that, like, I haven't used x in a year, and the second I start using it again, there's posts all everywhere about how people are saying, oh, well, he's running the simulator at low and at medium settings, and that's why it looks the way that it does. He's purposely running the simulator at medium settings, and, and that's why it looks bad. It's like... But literally the first thing I did when I fired up x 12 and we streamed it on Thursday was show everybody the graphic settings and how I'm running everything at high or maxed out. Minus the trees. I have trees at minimum because I don't fucking care about trees. I've already pointed this out. It's a flight sim. I don't care if there's millions of trees beneath me while I'm flying at 37,000 feet. I don't care. I, and I do the same settings on X, on, on Microsoft. I have my trees and all that set to low, you know? You can even, like, look, I have a quick command, MSFS, right here. If more people medicine and stayed in their own lane, it would be a better place. Yes. Look at that. Those are my, those are my Microsoft settings. High-end preset, so not even at max. High-end preset, the same as I'm running, running X-Plane right now. Clouds Ultra, same thing. My clouds are on Ultra right now. And the trees are on low. And yes, my trees are on low. Same thing. Zach, you gonna be in? Uh, you gonna be in Vegas, my man? That's gonna be a fun one, dude. Yeah. That's gonna be a fun one, dude. Tony, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Vegas is going to be special. I th there's going to be so much to do in Vegas. It's going to be wild. We might have to rent like a party bus or something like that, guys. 
You know, like one of those like limit like shuttle buses, like a small shuttle bus. You know, like from a limousine company or something. Vapes dead. Medicine for days. Oh yes. Oh yes. Why is my camera leaving? Alright, we got top of drop in 95 miles. Bottle service? No, stop this. I don't drink. I'm sure some other people might enjoy that, but... Although we're in Vegas, so I may have a couple rum and cokes. Yeah. Captain, will you do a live from the Air Canada Lounge in Vancouver? Probably not. Probably not. I feel like it's going to be a pretty quiet experience, you know? Bomb service. Man. We need to build an FSX while party bus. The party bus. It's going to be a fun one, man. I feel like everybody's going to be there because it's Vegas. I feel like people are going to make sure to make it a... Uh, and I mean, listen, it, I... I I don't disagree that some of the other places were going to be good options as well. Like, St. Louis has a ton of history with aviation and stuff like that, right? And some of the other options, KC, um, some of the other options were great. San Diego would have been good as well, just very expensive to get to. San Diego would have been fun, though, um, as far as, like, plane spotting and going to KSAN nonstop and stuff. But um, Vegas is, I mean, come on, man. I mean, everybody's going to be there. Everybody's going to be... Um, you know, excited, and it just offers so much, you know? Cleveland? Yeah, no. I don't even... I feel like they put that one in there just because they had to select, like, a random city, you know what I mean? But the fact that it's in Vegas is just incredible, man. I'm so excited. 21st to the 23rd, Will. 21st to the 23rd. If stretching was allowed in New York County... Uh, I would also quit drinking. Oh, in your country, sorry. But it was NY, New York, your country, correct. What rudder pedals do I use? The Thrustmaster um, Pendular. We put exclamation point TM. No, June. I just said June 21st to the 23rd. Did I not say June? Sorry. June 21st to the 23rd. And Will, I found your, I found your future wife, Melinda. Will and Melinda, imagine the happy marriage that would create, chat. If we had Will and Melinda. Will, I know you're in a relationship, but I think I found somebody better for you. I wholeheartedly mean that. I don't know anything about the relationship that you're in now, but I feel like I've found your life, man. Seriously. Maybe I should pop the question for the expo and get married at the expo. See? There you go. Willinda. Exactly. I found it, Will. What did you miss? I, I, I found your counterpart. I found the female version of you. We have found it. It's Melinda. Huh? Fate, what's up, my man? Good to see you, dude. <laughs> Huge enough floaties, man. Good to see you. A power couple right there. Super smart. That's it. Hello, Cap Hope as well. Just want to know if I'll be joining for Vegas. Can't pass that. I will be. You're going to be joining Vegas. Awesome, Phaeton. Very great, man. Very great news. I cannot wait, dude. It's going to be awesome, man. I'm savage? How, man? Just being honest. I mean, shit. I'm out here. I'm, I can also be a streamer, but I can also be a matchmaker. I see things how they are, man. Too late. Married as of last October. I didn't know you were married already. Well, shit. That complicates it a little bit. Would your wife be open to... No, I'm just bugging you, man. Um, no, but yeah, you and you and Melinda would be perfect matches. I'm surprised Melinda hasn't spoken up yet. Like, it's... I, I, I can hardly tell the difference between the two of you. It's crazy. We like talking to a mirror for both of them. That's, that's what I mean. <laughs> you guys absolutely love this plane, especially the engine sounds. It is a great airplane. It's a lot of fun to fly, dude. It's a lot of fun to fly. Cap, will you bring a pair of boxing gloves to the expo? No. Just no pictures or stickers for Melinda. 
What could be the problem with the speed brakes so the rudder is stuck uh, to the left in the Tolis A321? Also have the rectangle on the screen when X-Plane thinks there's no joystick added. Hmm. That's weird. Can you try unplugging and replugging in your joystick? Put it into a different USB port, Andreas? Yeah. Sergeant, how are you, my friend? Good to see you. Welcome back. Oh, listen, Diego, I'm completely joking. Melinda is a 100% uh, a troll. Don't, uh, don't get that wrong. I know that that's not... It's probably Tim 2.0 or something like that, right? Like, it's, it's something along those lines. Although a little bit too sassy to be Tim. I don't know. Blink 182 new album out October 21st. Is it October 21st? I know that we're getting. Um, I know that we're getting a new single the 21st. We're getting a new single in three days. I know that, but. So you're saying that I shouldn't have slid into Melinda's DMs? Correct. Yes, good luck with that. I hope it works out for you. <laughs> I hope everything works out for you, sir. Best of luck. <laughs> uh, what's your plane for ops? What do you mean, Cyber? For ops. What do you mean by ops? Simming in general? I don't know, man. I have a bunch. I'm kind of an av geek. Kind of like them all. Depends. I like Boeing. I like Airbus. Camp will the PMDG EFB release this week, next week, or the week after? I have no clue, man, at this point. I really don't know. Cross Finney for 260 uh, UPS 1322. All right. Uh. Descent. I don't know why it does this. Say, okay, there we go. Um, and then uh, he wanted us at points. So we'll call it point seven five zero slash. Do you say twenty six thousand chat? I think you said 26,000, uh, which means that our descent would be in 22 miles. All right, so we'll go 26,000. I think he's probably got to hand us over by then. We'll bug up 26,000, and we're just going to make sure we don't have any other restrictions that we're missing in here, because that's probably a restriction that we missed. Uh, no, actually. Well, there's one at Dutchie between 28 and 25. I don't see anything here for fine, Finney. Uh, but we have between 13 and 10 it formed. 13 and 10, it's got us at... Okay, well, we'll go 271 at 13. And then we can hit that restriction. Uh, and then we've got Kipple between 7 and 11. Kipple's at there. We're going to put 250 at 10. Okay, and then I think we're good for the rest of that. Yeah, because after Kipple, it's going to be straight out to Nampt uh, between 7 and 6. Uh, Nampt at 5,700. Sure. Okay, cool. It's kind of got it. That's all that matters. Pass the Dutchie. Do you remember your Beluga stream just watched a recently crazy stream? Thoughts on flying it again? It was a lot of fun. Uh, well, which Beluga stream? 
like the initial release stream. That was a crazy stream. I remember that one. Um, where we f we like pushed back out of the hangar. I don't think they updated the Beluga for X plane uh, for X plane 12, Will. So I don't think we could fly it unless we're getting one for Microsoft. But I don't think it's it's ever been updated for X plane 12. I don't think so. Still on house arrest, uh, but also just bought X-Plane 12 for my PC and very much enjoying it. Awesome, mate. Well, not awesome on the house arrest, but awesome on X-Plane 12, and I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. Yeah. The one with the donation extravaganza, the initial stream, that was insane. They did update the Beluga for X-Plane 12? Ah, well, there you go. Thought everything works from X-Plane 11 and X-Plane 12. Mm, no. They changed the way... some. I think they changed, like, the fuel burn or something like that. Like, it works but it doesn't really work right like things work but there's they don't really work I don't know how to explain it wasn't it on the 24 trailer I don't know maybe it was Jamie could have been blue guy is the biggest forehead in aviation world yes it does yes it does Yeah, it's a bug. The gear's not out. It's just a visual glitch because, like, I'm tricking the camera system. You can see it just goes to, like, the static 3D model. It's weird. And there we go. We're starting our descent into Jacksonville. Beautiful. I saw you running AA on four times. Why not higher? Will, you can't, dude. With this simulator, if you try and put that to eight times, dude, it's just going to melt things. And honestly, like, four times doesn't look bad. The anti-aliasing is always broken in X-Plane. It, it really doesn't matter. The performance decrease and the visual increase that you get is not worth running eight times. And honestly, four times in any other application would be perfectly fine. I run it four times in Microsoft. I don't... Remember, dude, I'm streaming, right? Like, it's, it's not... Uh, you know, if I wasn't streaming and I wasn't impacting performance and stuff like that, streaming, I could probably get away with running things. Remember that streaming, no matter what, even if when I do have a capture PC, there is still some performance hit. So I have to be mindful of those things. Try out reshade, smooth anti-aliasing setting that's good for x -Plane. How much performance again? How much performance do you lose? How much performance do you lose? Because I know all of those reshade programs, especially for x yeah. Will, this render engine has been bad for 10 years. The anti-aliasing in x -Plane, the broken, jagged lines, it's been an issue with x -Plane for years and years and years and years. They're apparently fixing it. Like these broken, jagged things here and stuff. They're apparently fixing it. Um... Apparently, it's on, like, the, the big things, the to-do list. So, I don't know. It's brand new, built from the ground up. Amen. Keep drinking that Kool-Aid. I love me some Austin Kool-Aid. I think that was for me, and I missed it. We'll see if he calls me again. The ortho out here looks beautiful, though, man. Vertical sim V-states. Color corrector. Unicom, have yourself a great afternoon. Thanks for your TC, man. UPS 1322. All right. We're over to Unicom. Good. I thought it was for me. I just caught the very, like, 2-2 at the end of what he was saying, and I was like, ah, it's probably for me. All right, cool. Uh, we can continue our descent. We can go down to 4,000 feet at a scene. 210 knots, 4,000 feet. Is that what we have in here? A scene, 210, 4,000. Good. That is what we want. So we'll bug this up down to 4,000 feet. Getting an FMS message. I'm not quite sure why. We'll take a look at that in a second. Probably drag required. Yeah, it's fine. Looking good. Cool. The graphics look better than expected. Um, yeah, well, like I said, well, I, I spent a lot of time trying to kind of make sure that the sim is running in 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 
in, in good order. Uh, I got ortho imagery working, third-party sceneries for all of the airports we've been flying into. I updated all my airplanes to make sure everything was updated. Um, yeah, I mean, from 30,000 feet, absolutely, dude. X-Plane looks perfectly fine. It's when you get a little bit closer to the ground. Again, the broken anti-aliasing, the textures. You know, the fact that you're saying that I, I'm running on four times, I mean, that's literally one down from the maximum anti-aliasing, right? Um, just because X-Plane offers eight times and 16 times, you know, you absolutely cripple the simulator if you try and do that. x is notorious. I don't know if you guys remember this, but in the x 11 and x 12 days, x would let you put like your textures or your, your rendering up to maximum, and then it would just continuously loop and crash the sim because it would run out of VRAM or it would run out of whatever. Um, and it was a very vicious circle. You could actually get your simulator like stuck in a point where every time you load it in, it would just crash because you have the settings set too high. I don't think you can do that in x 12. Um, but every single one of my settings is like basically one down from the maximum that I can have it at. And then even at that, like the, the super sampling, I have it on maximum, um, or the rendering is on maximum, no compression. Um, so it should be, uh, you know, that's why you're getting the, the decent visuals out here. And again, ortho color, color corrected ortho is, is going to make the sim look incredible, right? It's not, I never really had an issue with like ortho and the way that, uh, the aircraft flew. It's, it's everything else about X-Plane, right? Hey Cap, hope you're well. Just quickly tuning in from vacation, currently away in uh, Cape Verde. Uh, missed all these X-Plane streams. We'll have to rewatch. Intrigued to see what it's like compared to Microsoft. Yeah. <coughs> An X-Plane Vulcan engine is just texture resolution get downgraded once users is out of VRAM so the sim could uh, keep up the, the FPS up. Maybe, yeah. This looks just like Microsoft from the wing view. I mean, again, color corrected ortho imagery, newer clouds. It's not, you know, yeah. Austin personally sent my graphic settings. Yeah. Daz, good to see you, man. Uh, hiccup, long time no speak, my friend. Hope you're well. x 12A. I still fly this as I have to justify all the money spent. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't blame you, man. I don't blame you at all. Yeah. Austin gave me these, the preferred settings. I don't like how much the heat blur, I've, I've never been a fan of that, the heat blur. That's a problem in both sims, to be honest with you. Never looks like that. Like, when you're sitting in a wing view, you don't get a distorted view for your whole, you know what I mean? It's always kind of been an issue. I get it in Microsoft as well. It's just overdone. In my opinion. Um, cool. What are the... Um, what's the Meta report here? Would you agree that the sim is coming together? It has become far more of a simulator than the last time I used it. I've already said that every single day that I've been streaming it. It has come a long way. In the one year that I've been away, it's come a long way. I still don't personally think it's come enough. I don't think it'll ever retain or grow the way that it once was. I think you're always going to have a certain group of people that are dedicated to explain because they one either have too much money invested or two they just believe in the in austin and the laminar team and everything about explain i don't think there's anything wrong with that um but i don't ever see explain being that you know what what it had um but i see it being a second option my only problem and i think this is just me being realistic about this i think once Microsoft gets all of the add-on aircraft that are being developed right now, that's when I feel I have a really hard time thinking that X-Plane can even keep up even in that aspect of it. Um, you know, I can list off 12 airplanes off the top of my head. There's probably way more in development, but I can literally list off 12 airplanes that are coming to Microsoft that are absolutely going to be just stunning products and, and really take Microsoft into a whole new level. Um, but, yeah. 
that's just that's my opinion you don't have to agree with me but i think that's just the reality of this business is i think once you have e220s and triple sevens and uh md11s and e300s and 310s and belugas and e380s and q400s and all you know seven fives and seven sixes and all of those airplanes once those once those are all available for for microsoft i just I don't think somebody will look at both platforms and say, okay, I can buy X-Plane for $70 and the Flight Factor 757 for $100, or I can buy Microsoft for $60 and get a 757 for $60. Which SIM are you going to use? What platform are you going to use, right? So, yeah. At least when the new aircraft arrive, it won't just be the 737 and the E320. Correct. Yes, Absolutely. More and more, the airlines are currently uh, deploying narrow bodies such as A321 to operate across Atlantic flights. So soon, the A321 XLR. Would you prefer uh, the wide bodies? I don't know. I, I, I don't do a lot of um, Atlantic flights or something like that. Like as a passenger, I feel like I would be a little bit more comfortable being on a wide body. But uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's only a six-hour flight, right? Across six, six and a half hours from like New York or Boston to London or something like that. So it's not even that long. I mean. A321 is capable of, hell, even an A320 is probably capable of that or something, right? But, yeah. It's been three and a half years since Microsoft is out, and there's still only a 737 and an A320. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the thing is, right, Hacken, and this is what you have to always remember, man, is quality products take quality time, right? Okay? Um, let me just, for example, X-Plane has been out for, what, 15, 20, 25 years? Only over the last five years have you seen products that are really worth it when it comes to X-Plane, right? You have Tolis, you have Flight Factor, you have Fly J Sim, you have Any Builds. All of these airplanes, like they're between five and six years old, right? All of these airplanes. It takes time, man. It takes years to develop a proper third party uh, project. And then you have to also keep in mind how long has... Um, you know, Microsoft in its three and a half years has changed so much that it makes it difficult for developers to continuously have to keep up, right? Things have changed. Things would do this. Things would do that. I mean, I remember a year into Microsoft's release, they completely redid the whole, um, the whole dev tool and dev package. You know what I mean? So products take time man and, and and i mean we'd be saying the same thing right let's picture x plane 12 came out and it was a brand new simulator it would have no add-ons right even x plane 11 if x plane 11 came out well what five years ago six years ago it would only start receiving somewhat decent projects right now right all of these planes that were flying this airplane was made in x plane 10 because that's when x plane actually become became a well-known or or, or, or a household name, if you will, in the flight sim industry, right? Takes years and years and years and years, man. I don't think that's right to just say, oh, well, Microsoft's been out for three and a half years. We don't have any airplanes. Dude, the amount of airplanes that are coming to Microsoft, the amount of developers, the stuff that, again, I'm under an NDA from a lot of things, so I can't really speak of them, but some of the stuff that I've seen and some of the stuff that's coming to that simulator, there's a reason that I'm here, man. There's a reason that I'm fully invested in Microsoft. I still truly believe that with what we have coming, it's unbeatable. You're not going to be able to beat it price to performance to visuals to just the general sensation of simming. It's just unmatched. Absolutely unmatched. Um, and again, that doesn't mean that X-Plane is not an option. X-Plane is totally an option. I've used X-Plane all week. If anything, I've shown that X-Plane is still a, a, an option if this is what you're interested in. But everybody's different, right? A lot of people can't afford to spend $100 on an airplane, spend $70 on a simulator, spend $200 getting an, uh, a hard drive to store all this ortho on, right? There's a lot that comes to like getting invested into X-Plane versus Microsoft and stuff. So a lot of things to take in, you know? Uh, yeah, but Dr. Nerd Ranger, you're not... 
if you look at all the developers, all the development cycles, sure, they could they could port things over. I'm not saying that they can't port things over, but PMDG 737 built from scratch, from the ground up. Phoenix, brand new sim, brand new developer, A320 built from the ground up. There aren't very many people that are porting airplanes over. I think some of like the GA aircraft, some of those developers are bringing some of their stuff over and they're just porting it over, but it doesn't work as easily as it as you think it does. Um, yeah. From scratch as a hyperbole. I know you should speak about Austin with that, right? Remember how Austin tried to tell us that X-Plane 12 was completely built from the ground up? So, I listen, dude. I totally understand what you're saying. Um, but I don't think it's, it's as simple as just plugging it in and pressing a couple buttons and the PMDG 737 from FSX now works for Microsoft Flight Simulator. No, I don't think it's that simple. I think there's probably quite about a, quite a bit of work that goes into it, um, especially if you want to utilize some of the new, uh, some of the new hardware and some of the new stuff that that Microsoft offers, right? So, yeah. Is Tolus planning to do something for Microsoft? I don't think so. I think Tolus is sticking to their guns. I think they're staying to. Uh, I think they're sticking with with X Plane. Yeah. So you can't talk about anti-gravity UFO that's dropping Q1 2024? Cannot. I wish, man. The only thing I wish P3 and X-Blade had over Microsoft uh, is probably a much wider range of aircraft for a steep price, of course. Well, again, right? P3D's been out for, what, 15 years, 20 years? Because it technically is on the FSX platform. It's been out forever, right? Same as X-Plane. We're on X-Plane 12 now, 1995. So we're talking, uh, you know almost 30 years, 33 years of X-Plane since, since, uh, since that's been out. So, you know, X-Plane's been out for a very long time as well. So you have to remember all of these things. Microsoft and a lot of the developers for Microsoft are newer developers, you know? Leo, celebrating 24 months. I appreciate you, man. Two years as a first-class member. I appreciate the support, man. Huge no floaties to you. Thank you very, very much for support. I truly do appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's extremely kind, man. All right, landing lights are on. Wing lights are on. Logo lights are on. We're coming up through 10,000 feet. We're going to continue the descent. We've got a beautiful RNAV path coming up here in front of us. Should be a cool approach. Looking forward to it. I'm going to arm these right now just because they don't seem to be doing it anyways, but will you fly X-Plane again? I will. I don't know when, but I will. Yeah. Captain Lee, how are you, man? Good to see you, dude. Welcome back. Cap, flying the GEs or the Rolls Royce on the 7.5? Uh, flying the Pratt Whitney's, actually. There's no GE option for the 7.5, only the 7.6. So we are flying the Pratt and Whitney's. I hope you enjoyed my senior cap. Glad I could finally fly into it. Yes, thanks for sending it over to me, man. I really do appreciate that. But yes, to answer your question, we will fly X-Wing again. I don't know when, um, but I've enjoyed myself enough to... Uh, to jump back into X-Plane. Like I said, it, it, it's been a little bit more of a headache more than anything, if I'm being 100% honest with you. Um, the amount of questions I've answered about why are you doing this or the amount of conversations, it's I'm already, I'm over it at this point, right? I don't I don't care anymore. Um, like I said, it, 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 it's been a good experience for me. I've enjoyed it. I know most of the communities enjoyed it, but again, I still feel like there's just... There's, there's a lot of bad blood. Um, I also don't know why our speed hasn't dropped back yet. I feel like there's a lot of blad, bad blood between me and the X-Plane community. I think the X-Plane community is still upset at me for not continuing to stream X-Plane over the last year. And um, there's a lot, of, a lot of negativity surrounding me streaming X-Plane this week. Which is odd because I didn't think it, it would be like that to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's, been a, it's been a weird week. It's been a weird week, man, just to say the least. Um, I've enjoyed my time, but I don't know when we'll be back, but yeah. 
Oh, so Grande, my man, says, Hey there, thanks for bringing the variety of POVs and different experience. As always, great work coming in with the 20 gifted members. Unbelievable, man. Huge enough floaties to you, dude. Thank you very, very much for support. I truly do appreciate you, man. That's incredibly kind. Thank you so, so, so much for supporting the streams, dude. Um, hopefully, I'll see you down in Vegas, man. Flight Sim Expo 2024, Vegas. Hopefully, we can make it work, man. Huge enough floaties to you, dude. Thank you for the continued support, dude. I really do appreciate you, man. Incredibly kind. Uh, we have a 230 knot restriction coming up, so we'll go 230 on the speed. Guys, let's get some love and chat for Mr. Oso Grande. And if you did get a gifted membership, please make sure you say thank you in chat. It's incredibly kind, man. I just look at it how it is. Flight Sim is Flight Sim no matter. P3D, x and Microsoft, as long as you enjoy it, that's all that matters. That's what I've been trying to preach, man, to be honest with you. And I think I think for the most part, I think people see how critical I am of x -Plane, and I think that they, they almost take that personally. And it's like, it couldn't be, I'm not attacking people for using x or wanting to use x -Plane. I'm just giving you my opinions as a longtime x user about where I see this hobby and where I see x going. You don't have to agree with me. You don't have to even acknowledge it. You don't have to watch these streams. You don't have to be here if this is, if you feel like, you know, um, I just think it's crazy that people would think like I'm, I would purposely, you know, like run the simulator at lower graphic settings to like, <laughs> it doesn't even make sense to me, man, that people would think like I would run the simulator at a lower graphic settings to, so that I could, what? Like, the insecurities, this it's just insane, the insecurities I've seen. And, like, the... I don't know, man. It, it just blows my mind. Like I said, it, it's, it's been a very weird week. It's been a weird week. <laughs> That's all I'm going to leave it at, man. It's been a weird week. Between the weird DMs and screenshots of people talking shit in different discords. And it's been a very weird week for me, man. Um, nostalgic, in a sense. I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed flying the Q400. I've enjoyed doing some cargo ops in the 7.5. Um, I don't know, man. It's just, it's been a weird week. It's been a weird week. They should be thankful that you're even flying the sim. Well, that's, I mean, again, I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but it, at some point, it's like, okay, well, like, when, when would you be happy that, like, I'm bringing... You know, I can guarantee you this week, I, I, I bet you more than one person has reinstalled X-Plane, maybe even bought a scenery or two, maybe upgraded an airport, uh, an airplane or something like that, maybe upgraded an airport, paid to do something. I would guarantee you that that happened this week based off just us flying and showcasing X-Plane. But um, like I said, it, and it's not, for, for a majority of the users and viewers and people that watch my streams, you guys are all chill. I'm not, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm just focusing too much on the negativity, but um, there's been more negativity this week than normal. I know that there's, you know, always there's people out there that are just always, you know, but I just feel that this week there's been a lot more negativity than, than normal. There's been a lot more, um, I don't even know what the word, neg just overall negativity, to be honest. Like I said, it's been a weird week. Maybe it's because I, it's, it's been over a year since I've been in X-Plane, so that's maybe that why it feels like it's been a weird week, but it's definitely been a weird week. Who needs a hug? <laughs> exactly, just come for hugs, man. I think it matters to folks because your channel can shine uh, light on X-Plane 12. I don't know, man. I don't know. What's all the Reddit drama about? Uh, there's just Discord posts and Reddit dramas. Um, there's a post out there that somebody sent to me. Basically, there was another, another smaller content creator was basically saying that I am purposely running the simulator on low graphic settings so that I can deter people away from buying x or getting involved in the x world. Um, which actually is, could not be further from the truth. As I mentioned, and as you mentioned, Will, when you came in here, I'm running ortho imagery, color corrected ortho imagery. I'm flying into third party airports. I'm flying updated X Plane 12 ready airplanes. I've done everything that I possibly can do to kind of show this simulator in a good light. You know what I mean? Um, so it, it, it's just, it's like I said, man, it's, it, it's very, uh, it's been a very silly week in my opinion. It's just, um, I don't know why 
don't know why anybody would want to start any type of like I said man you don't have to be a fan of my content you don't have to be a fan of me not using explain anymore but like you know there is this thing called common sense um, and I feel like some people are lacking it you know ACAP popped in the 7.5, and it seems uh, so much heavier. Oh, yeah, it's a big heavy. They're, they said that there's something wrong, actually, right now with the flight model. I don't know about the flight model, but they said that there's something wrong with the, uh, the way that the aircraft is handling right now. You have to almost flare it a little bit earlier than normal. Speaking of which, we're going to go gear down. I'm going to start bleeding off some of that speed. We are coming around on this turn pretty quickly. Now, I'm going to roll the speed back to 180. Uh, we've got gear down, we're bleeding off some of that speed, and we got 200 knots, we can go ahead and go flaps 15. So we can go into flaps 15 now, so we'll throw flaps 15, good, we'll bring that speed back 170, and our approach speed today was looking for 138. Yeah, it just doesn't respond to my yoke like it feels like it should, correct, that, that is correct in thinking so, you have to fly it a little bit differently, it's not, uh... Like I said, it needs to be updated. If you're in the Discord, if you're in the Flight Factor Discord, there's actually something that they, something that you can do. Um, you have to open up Plane Maker and you have to edit a file or something like that. I really wasn't interested in doing that, so I didn't do it. I've kind of just been flying it as like a little bit heavier. Um, if you want, bring your v bring your approach speed up slightly a little bit, and it may feel a little bit better. Instead of five knots, add like seven or eight knots to it, but. Um, yeah. Let's go flaps 25, which will be our landing flaps. And we are turning on to final now. We'll call up tower. Jack's tower, good uh, afternoon. UPS 1322, RNAV Yankee uh, 32. UPS 1322, Jack's tower, wind variable at 4, runway 32, clear to land. Runway 32 cleared to land, UPS 1322, thanks. I've also noticed that the spooling of the engines is very slow. Like, the aircraft will almost stall itself out before the engines spool in. So there, there's definitely some things going on with it, that's for damn sure. Cool. Uh, speaking of that, throttles are mine. And I'm going to take control of the aircraft. Enjoy the arrival, friends. I'll catch you guys down on the ground. My airplane. Let's go. Yeah, if, if you don't want it to feel so heavy, you can always add a little bit more trim, a little bit more back trim, and, and make your approach speed a little bit quicker. That could also help tremendously. So, um, your auto brakes are on RTO. What? My auto brakes are position three. That's not auto brake. Come on now. Come on now. Let's finish off strong here. Let's have a nice landing. 1,000. Check. Speed's a little bit much. We're going to bring that down just a little bit. I'm showing four white. No, okay, there we go. One red, three white. So we'll get ourselves back on approach path here. There we go. Two white, two red. Beautiful. Five hundred. We're going to be vacating to the right. I'm going to land. FedEx 3810, Jack Sarah Town. Looks like you're still north of the airport. Just advance when you establish on the airport. Minimums. Continue. Definitely winds variable. I feel it blowing us around a little bit. 100. 50. 40. 30. 20. 10. Put those down gently. Reversers are out. Into the wind. See how, like, delayed putting the nose down is? My reversers don't... The reversers aren't working for some reason on this. Or they are working, but they're staying at, like, idle reverse. It's weird. 70 knots. Manual braking. Reverser stowed. 
The reverse is weird with this, with these engines variant. I don't know, it's being weird. Doing weird things. This airplane is definitely a butter airplane, though. Like, my goodness. This thing is just butterino. Uh, all the way down to the end, short run. It's only 7,000 foot run. We're vacating here on to Lima. Beautiful. Welcome back. Or sorry, not welcome back. Welcome to Jacksonville, friends. A beautiful flight today. We'll stop the clocks here as well. 83 and a half minutes. Stop on the clock. Good. Landing lights are coming off. One lights off. Logo lights off. Take a right turn on November and then Romeo into the UPS ramp. Thanks for jumping on. Give us ATC. We'll see you soon. UPS 1322. All right, cool. Sweet. Good. Let's go. Flaps clean. Check sound on Delta 2990 with information Bravo. Proclaiming up to Atlanta. And ground spoilers up. Remember, guys, if you did enjoy that, don't forget to smash down that thumbs up button. Uh, unfortunately, this is the only leg today. We are not doing the return flight. I apologize for that. Uh, something has come up. I need to, uh, to go run to the tire shop to get some tires replaced on my ride-in mower. Do you use ortho, or is this just normal ortho for XP? This is Vertical Sim V-States. Vertical Sim V-States. Which are absolutely fantastic. All, like, color-corrected and stuff. Uh, cancel, recall, cancel. Oh, my God, it's doing things there. That's good. EPU gen can go on. Good. Cool. Beautiful airport. This is a uh, Jacksonville done by F. I think it was F Sim, right? What was the name of it? F Design? F Design, I think it is, right? Captain Lee? Added some green saturation to it, but it doesn't look right at all, so I gotta get rid of that. Just uh, used what we have. Ah. I think it looks good. I love the grass of X Plane, it always gets me. <laughs> the little grass. Uh, we are going all the way down here to Romeo and then into Ramp 1, is where UPS parks. S design. Thank you. The lighting in the sim totally changed on short final. Did anyone see that? I did not. Do we pop out of a cloud or something like that? Yeah, the airplane definitely feels much heavier than I remember it feeling, that's for sure. Cool that we, um, cool that we were able to do the, uh, the RNAV approach, though. We've done a lot of RNAVs this week, it was really good. You have to push the throttles forward after you toggle the reversers. Is it, is that something only with the Pratt Whitney, Shane? Because I don't have to do that with any other engine. Like the Q400, the the 75, seven, the uh, the RB211s with the 75. Okay, the, uh, just here Nothing. Where Atlanta Center closed uh, just a few minutes ago. Okay, that's not an issue. Thanks for letting me know. Roger. I think this is where we're going in at Romeo. Yes, this is where we're going in. Cord, how are you? Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Slight left, slight right shot. Cool scenery, though. Again, I'm pretty sure this is the first time we're ever flying into Jacksonville. We've never really had this scenery before.
That was good. Which will be the next plane? Uh, next week. On Thursday. Well, this week coming up, Thursday is the next stream. And we're either going to be in the Phoenix A320 or the PMDG 737. Haven't decided yet. Have not decided yet. Nose light off. Get ourselves into the ramp. Love doing cargo ops. My Sun Country Amazon airplane is fun to fly. Absolutely. Love doing some cargo, man. Love doing some cargo and flying the 7.5 over the last couple of days has uh, definitely got me excited for the 7.5 that's coming from Microsoft. Uh, Bluebird Sim, I really have a lot of faith in these guys. They seem to be, uh, they seem to be great developers. They seem to be really on, on track with this. They have their, uh, their heartbeat with the community. Um, so, I, uh, fingers crossed they're going to deliver a, a great product as well. Cool, APU's on, APU bleed is on, APU gen is on, engine number two is off, engine number one is off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome down to Jacksonville, oh baby. Great flight, red beacon light, white lights can come off, everything's good upstairs there. Engine bleeds can go off, right pack goes off. Um, and there we go, we've got our window heat off, we'll get the fuel pumps off as well, we'll get into a turnaround state. We are staying on APU, and there we have it. Cool. Sweet. Great flight, chat. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Not too bad of a parking job. Call that a 8-2. 8-2 on the park job. But not bad. A great day of flying. Thanks again, uh, Captain Lee and team, for sending me over the scenery to finally check out Jacksonville. Can't believe we've been flying for how long and we, this is the first time we're going. Next day shipping. Exactly. Worldwide services. We got uh, a bunch of goods from... We took this plane all the way from California. Although we didn't do the flight. I thought about doing the flight from um, Ontario to SDF for today, but I uh, figured this would be a little bit better. Um, cool. Let's go ahead and check out some replay, shall we? Toggle replay mode. We'll back the sucker up. We'll take a look at that landing. We'll see what she looks like from multiple angles. Rewind that. I'm going to go to here. We'll play it out from there. Sounds can come down just a little bit. The terminal has interiors as well. There you go. Very cool. Very, very cool. How do you make wing views? Um, honestly, without me explaining it and probably not making much sense to you, uh, just Google or YouTube custom wing views, explain Microsoft Flight Simulator, whatever you need, and there should be some great explanations in there. Nice heavy flare, floated out, a little bit of correction there. And we're touching down smoothly. I mean, that looked absolutely fantastic, chat. Minus the, the nose kind of doing weird things there, but absolutely fantastic. A beautiful landing. I love watching the landings in X-Plane, though, man. You can, you can literally see the weight. Oh, no. No proper tower view. That's okay. You can literally see the weight of the airplane as it touches down. It's, it's pretty incredible. Um... I love landing this airplane as well. This airplane is just a butter machine. Like an absolute butter machine. If you're feeling bad about your landings and you want to get some good landings, just get the Flight Factor 7.5. I'm pretty sure it's impossible to do bad landings in this thing. Just the way that the gear is designed, how high the gear, how high the gear is with the tilted landing gear, I feel like it's impossible to have bad, bad landings with this thing, man. The way that she just comes in like that every single time, absolutely how beautiful. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Sorry, toggle replay mode. Um, cool. That's going to wrap it up for me today, friends. Again, apologize that I can't do a longer stream today, but I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed what we did thus far. I'm going to leave you with some replays here. Next week, we're going to be back in Microsoft Flight Simulator, either, again, the Phoenix A320 or the PMDG 737. I'm not quite sure which ones we will be in. Uh, but I want to take this time now to thank my mods, my donators, my sponsors. Thanks so much for the support, guys. I really do appreciate you, everybody being here, supporting the channel. Um, all the don all the gifted subs this week, all the donations, uh, absolutely incredible. So thank you guys so much for your support. I truly do appreciate that. Mods as well. Thanks for keeping everything sane this week. It was thoroughly appreciated. I love the runway textures. They're actually fantastic. These are actually some of the, the better runway textures I've seen in, in quite a while. So 
kudos to them for making some great scenery for us to fly into today. Um, to everybody else that cannot donate using a monetary value, but donates with their time, their efforts, coming to hang out stream after stream, I appreciate you guys just as much. Thanks everybody for being here. Thanks everybody for supporting the stream in any way that you can. I truly do appreciate it. Looking forward to jumping back in Microsoft next week. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, guys, happy landings. Have a great start to the week. Enjoy your Monday evenings, and I will catch you all on Thursday. We might have an after dark on Wednesday. I'm not quite sure yet. Maybe we'll do some trucking on Wednesday or maybe we'll do some trucking on Friday. I haven't quite decided yet. Maybe Friday, Friday night trucking. Anyways, guys, have a great start to the week. Catch you all on Thursday. Happy landings. See you.